Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What is the endgame in between William Ruto and Raila Amolo Odinga? There's something that I want you to understand. If there will be a handshake or working formula in between William Ruto and Raila Amolo Odinga, let me say, without any fear of contradiction, the mountain must come out to reorganize themselves. Remember earlier on, William Ruto, Tulimwona Akisema, Kitambo Sana, saying, Hakula Kabila Yeyote, Ambai Likuwa na Shida na Wakikuyu, Kuliko wa Kalenje. And because they wanted to settle their problem with the Kikuyus, William Ruto leaked certain idea that to deal with these people and solve their problem was first they look for a government. Yani, watafote serikali kwanza. Wakisha pata, they know how they were going to deal with Gema Nation. Lakini kama weo unakwama maali moja, Unasema huyu simpendi na huyo hatoki Kenya atakuwa hapo siku ya kupiga kura atapiga kura hata na yeye sasa wewe utafanya namna gani And remember the statement of William Ruto seems like people wame wame wame, wame sahau Don't forget that once in a while or earlier on, Ray Udinga and William Ruto, they were working together. Remember William Ruto was in ODM. He was part and parcel of Pentagon 2007. I don't see any hindrance that will block William Ruto and Ray Udinga working together. I know some people might not accept what I'm telling you. Remember in politics, in politics, nothing is impossible. I want to repeat, in politics, nothing is impossible. And because Okuru Kenyatta had an agenda of rescuing the Mount Kenya because he had already revealed the kind of posture that William Ruto was bringing on board. And when he decided to tell the mountain the truth, and he warned them that, look, now on a future, Mukena could support Raila Odinga. But I don't see future when you're going to support this Tanga Tanga and these thieves. But the mountain thought like, Uhuru Kenyatta wanted to benefit. He wanted to benefit. Now, this is how Uhuru Kenyatta won the mountain, but they never listened to what Uhuru Kenyatta was telling them. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs>
inywe au wadamu wala ni inywe tu gatiri si abu rulio yuvitu mahoya manyu kumagi ya 1922 kinywa muda na mama tu ragi abu rulio tora ni mahoya ma kwa kuenda na kuenda buruli na kuenda ole amuli ganeti enake inywe ni moe muno makelia ati muleaga dizino yanyu ona mwashu kuona mwadhitu nda henania ni dire dona kile ba twale to bere igoti ni guthitwa kuya kindu kya mundu no gada henania no gada henania to ndu mundu etiketie na mwitiketie kuri athizi no yanyu na kile ya mundu aheyo ni ngai agacokeria ngai agacokeria ngai gatho wetima now ladies and gentlemen I'm in any way suggesting that Ruto is capable of doing a coup himself. And the answer is resounding yes. And my premise here in the 1982 coup, if President Moi knew that 1982 coup was going to happen and let it happen, it is because he needed the coup to establish his kind of rule, you know. But again, I have another thought. I have another thought here. If it is true, Ruto wants term limits to, re to be removed. Why has Raila not said a word? Aliro. How sure are we that Raila cannot be part and parcel of that plan? And this can happen like this. This is my suggestion. Please give your suggestion at the comment section below. This is my opinion. I'm a human being. We have opinion. Now, what if there is a plan to make Raila Odinga ceremonial president? And Ruto, an executive prime minister. This was as per, for example, if Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta could have won this BBI, Raila Odinga was going to be ceremonial president. Uhuru Kenyatta was going to be the executive prime minister. But now, the working formula in between Raila Odinga and William, William Ruto, where uh, Uhuru Kenyatta never succeeded. What is this that cannot succeed in between William Ruto and Raila Odinga? Then my hypothesis is that Ruto and Raila might soon, might soon do a handshake. I don't know. In politics, everything is possible. In politics, everything is possible. And the handshake will happen not because the two love each other. I want you to understand that. This handshake will not happen because William Ruta and Apenda Raila Odinga. But because both have always had a common political enemy. And that is Gema. That is Gema Nation. And let the logic be simple. Gema is the only reason why Raila has never been president. Take it to the bank. It is only Gema that has ensured that Raila Odinga is not the president. But again, Gema is the only reason why Ruto is the president. Now, put differently, if 50% of Ruto's vote was Gema, then it means Gemma made Ruto president. If 50% of Ruto's vote 
was Gemma. Then it means Gemma made Ruto president. And if they made him president, they can also unseat him as president and make Raila president. Vice versa. But again, there is more. Raila has a history, 21, 21 years history, of politically sleeping with the government of the day. Under Moi, he allowed the Jogo to swallow Tinga. I don't know if you are understanding this hypothesis. No. Then under Tibaki, he did Nusumukati. Under Uhuru, he did Hanshik. And he, history is faithful to us. Then it means Raila will join Ruto at some point. Politics. Remember, in politics, nothing is impossible. Now, and this time round, it will be too finally to slay the political group of Gemma as the game plan might throw this Gemma nation under the bus if they are not careful. And that is why during the night I analyzed the video here that Kikuyus must have their own political parties. They must have their leader who will carry the agenda. They must speak in one voice. If they're not going to speak in one voice, then there's a big problem. So we don't know to wait for 2027. If Raila and Ruto were to pair up, were to pair up, if Ruto wants to change the constitution, all he needs is Raila. And it says this because Raila has never lost a referendum in this Republic of Kenya. So in 2005, Raila, Ruto, Uhuru opposed the Wako draft and defended Kibaki and the state. Now, in 2010, Raila joined Kibaki and beat Ruto and his no campaign. Right? Now, what do you think? If Gamer Nation, they're not going to prepare themselves. And arrange themselves. Number one, they speak in one voice. They have their political party. They have their leader who will carry their agenda. And they must come out to stop fearing William Ruto. In politics, you arrange yourself. You plan yourself and you know where you're going. But it seems in the mountain, these people don't know where they are going to. They don't know. When you have a William Ruto, you can say, you have a lot of people what will they do about William Ruto? Because when William Ruto was busy looking for this government, he leaked and said that our Kalendo wako na problem na kikuyu kuliko atakabela ingi. So, wakita kudini na wakikuyu, wacha wapati serikali kwa they have the government. William Ruto is having the government. He's the president. He can do whatever he can do. He can throw these people under the bus at any time. And that is why I'm telling kikuyus from the mountain, please, have one voice. Kiambu, Nyeri, Laikipia, Yote, Muranga, Mukwena voice moja. Ye nyata ruto akiamuka subuhi anasema mutoke. You will still be strong. Have your political party. Have your leader who will carry your gender and beginning powers. Stop fearing William Muto. Respect him, but stop fearing William Muto. Kama na wakanyaga, mkanyagane nao. And that is why he came out promising him several things in the mountain. But today, the narrative is exactly opposite. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.